Our body is unique machinery that performs auto-cleaning by eating itself. Hundreds of Pacman's lysosomes eat for our health in each cell. This process is named autophagy, and we will tell you about it in the next four minutes. Let's go! This word means self-eating from Greek auto, self, and phagos, eating. When cells are starving, they switch autophagy on as a safety mechanism. Fortunately, we are not heroes of Stephen King's story, and no one is dying from starvation. But the similar processes happen in our organism every day. Our cells continuously produce new peptides, as if it is a conveyor. Just like in any factory, spoilage always occurs. A cell accidentally makes a lot of wrong proteins that cannot fulfill their functions and are harmful for the organism. The simplest way for our bodies is to destroy incorrect proteins. For this purpose, there is a special structure called lysosome, from Greek lysis, digestion, and soma, particle or body. It contains active enzymes and, as an incinerator, destroys everything unnecessary and dangerous. Have you heard about waste recycling? That is microautophagy in its simplest variant. There are two types of microautophagy, chaperone-dependent, when a specially educated man collects unnecessary molecules and takes them to recycling point, and second type, when lysosomes themselves catch old and broken proteins. The only one type of autophagy stays, macroautophagy. It describes the situation when a cell devours its own part. It could be, for example, mitochondria. Mitochondria are generally dangerous. They are alien and perform similarly to a nuclear power plant. Macroautophagy is like to have Chernobyl station eaten in time. Thus, autophagy is mainly a normal process of cellular life activity support. It allows to get rid of old and potentially dangerous organelles and to build new and safe structures at their expense. For the study of autophagy, the Nobel Prize in Physiology was given to Yoshinori Osumi in 2016. He did his experiments on yeast and have studied entire cascade of enzymes that lead to autophagy, activating each other step by step. Chaperones are always present in a cell. They continuously control the quality of new proteins. In case chaperones cannot help new proteins to start work correctly, they immediately pull them to lysosome. But the main molecule that drives autophagy is mTOR. The name mTOR means mammalian target of rapamycin. When mTOR is active, for example, if cell is full with nutrients, autophagy is blocked. But in case of mTOR inactivation, the cascade leading to self-eating is launched. Rapamycin is mTOR inhibitor that can start autophagy, although it has some additional effects, like immune suppression and other. The name of the molecule rapamycin is originated from aboriginal name of the Easter Island, Rapa Nui, where this compound was firstly isolated from the local Streptomyces species. However, sometimes another situation occurs. A cell eats itself up to death. This phenomenon is called autophagic cell death. It is also important due to using rapamycin as an anti-tumor agent. On the other hand, it is needlessly to lash normal cells right up to autophagic death. Partial self-eating is even useful, like partial food limitation at fast. But complete starvation is always a way to nowhere. Let's conclude. The lysosome exists. It can eat proteins itself, microautophagy, or mediated by chaperones, chaperone-dependent autophagy, and can eat the whole organelle, macroautophagy. Disturbances of autophagy are the causes of a large number of diseases. Thus, to know this is necessary. Molecula.club, modern education for modern doctors.